Hi there, it's Vivi Cameron, and I'm so excited because I have received all these products by Concord N9, and today I will be showing ideas of handmade cards and some other projects made using Butterfly Beauty stamp set and Butterfly Card dies. These dies come all together attached by this little wire here. Perhaps you can see it better there. And all you have to do to separate them is just bending the dies like so, and you will be ready to go. If you want to get rid of these sharp edges here, you can use pliers or sandpaper. I'm not going to bother with that today. And the super nice thing about these dies is that they are designed to create a butterfly that latch on at the center of the car. And I have created all these cards here and projects with the dice and also this little box. So that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. First, let me tell you something about these dice. They come five in the package, these beautiful wings here, the body of the butterfly, and this die here that measures six inches or 15 centimeters tall. I'm going to put them aside and I'm going to show you how to use them in a very basic way. So this is an A4 sheet of cardstock and I'm going to trim it at 6 inches tall because the dies are 6 inches tall, right? So they will fit perfectly in a small big shot. You know the platform is 6 inches width. And I haven't touched the length of the A4 sheet of cardstock. If you can get wider sheet of papers, you can also make wider cards. And the only thing you need to be in mind is that this dice measures two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters. So that's the allowance you need to leave at both ends of the cardstock to be able to make cards with them. And you need to pay attention to get the top edge of the die and the bottom edge of the die aligned with the cardstock. So that when you cut this off, you will have those butterflies right in the center. You can also tape the dies to the cardstock to keep them in place. If you don't have a big shot plus, don't worry. I'm going to be showing how to use the dies with another smaller die cutting machines. So now I'm going to trim here the cardstock because it's slightly larger than what I need. And I'm going to latch the butterfly. And once it's latched and in place, I'm going to press the paper down. And I'm going to use a scoring tool just to create a scoring lines in those creases. There is another way to make this card and I'm linking a Concord 9 video in the video description. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my own ideas. And this is the first idea I want to share with you. You can create bands to latch on boxes and that way you can keep these boxes closed. I thought it was a very pretty and super easy way to do this. So I'm grabbing an A4 sheet of cardstock and I'm going to trim the paper at two inches and a half. Why? Because that's the height of the die as well. This butterfly is two inches and a half width and two inches and a half tall. This is six and a half centimeters tall and six and a half centimeters wide. So all you have to make sure is the butterfly shape fit perfectly in the height of this piece of paper. Now I'm going to use the big shot by Stampin' Up. This is a die cutting machine and the platform is only six inches width. So you see that the dies perfectly fit on the platform and I'm going to run this through the machine only once. You don't need to do this twice. Then I'm going to remove the die and I'm going to use the other die that comes in the package just to add detail to this butterfly wing. Once this is done, I like to use a die brush to get rid of the excess of paper in the die and to easily remove the die from the cardstock, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to use the other die and I'm going to do exactly the same that I just did. Something I forgot to show you before is that you get these little notches on the die cut and there is where you are going to latch the butterfly wings, just like that. And now it's time to do some stamping. You can stamp all over the die cut like I did here or you can only stamp behind the butterfly. But it's not actually behind, it's just stamping in the half of the butterfly. 
and I'm going to show you how I do this using this beautiful ombre ink by Hero Arts. And I want to thank my friend Alexandra for sending me this ink in a happy mail. I really love it. Thank you very much, Alex. It makes all the difference. And I'm using a piece of acetate there to protect the cardstock so that I only get the half of the butterfly stamped. You can also use a post-it note like so and just stamp over, or you can just stamp all over the image. I just thought that it was cool to share because that's the way you can create like a shadow behind the die cuts. Now you can choose the way you want to place the band around the box. I'm going to put it like that. And with my hands, I'm going to crease the paper on those corners of the box. And that's how I know where my scoring or the folding lines go. Don't worry, I saw that stain on the paper, but that's going to be hiding behind this piece of paper here. And I'm going to trim this with scissors. You know I'm terrible cutting with scissors, so I need a trimmer or something to get this cutting straight. And that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to fold the paper properly using a scoring tool, just like that. Once I have the scoring lines defined, I latch on the butterfly and I'm going to glue this. I'm going to use here Tombow Multi Glue that I love because it dries fast and it's super nice to use. And because this is also a very strong adhesive. You can make this kind of wrapping bands for boxes in different sizes. You can also make the bands a little bit thinner after die cutting the butterfly. And this box here measures 3 inches by 3 inches, which is seven and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters. You can also round the corners here if you want to, and I'm going to use a corner punch to do that. I also added a little banner here. I just paste the banner on one of the sides of the butterfly to be able to latch on this band with no problem. So if you see there, the banner is only on one of the wings. So that I can just latch this on like so. I also made another box, which is this one here. And for the band, I stamp the butterfly in a piece of cardstock and then I cut it by hand and I paste it behind the die cut of the butterfly. So that's why it looks quite a bit different. Now I'm going ahead with the second idea, which is simply die cutting the front panel of a card. I have pre-cut the paper, to make a card base that measures six inches by four and a quarter or 15 centimeters by 10 and a half centimeters. I'm going to need another piece of paper the same size for the inside of the card. And now I will be using my Kotler book. So you can see that you can use any die cutting machine with these dies. So I place the dies like so, paying attention to leave a little bit of space at the top edge and at the bottom edge. So here and there. So Make sure that your dies are not on the edge of the cardstock. And I'm going to run this through the machine. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the dies from the cardstock. And I'm doing this to show you how this is going to look. You will notice that your butterfly and all this die cutting is still attached to the cardstock. And now I'm going to place these dies here, like so. And I'm going to die cut those details on the wings of the butterfly. Now I'm going to use a couple of square dies just to create a simple background for this butterfly. And I'm going to use these dies here the name is So Pretty Pink Hole by Tonic Studios. I saw them in a promotion online and I think the price is quite crazy, like 11 pounds or $10, the whole package. So I'm going to try to find the link and I'm going to add it to the video description. Together with the pink holes dies, you might need to use a square die to cut the edges of that square because the pink hole will create that beautiful pattern around the edges, but it won't cut the edges. So now I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to use three ink colors. This one here is so saffron. Then I'm going to go with Peekaboo Peach, which is a kind of orange. And now I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. This is to create that kind of ombre effect. I don't need this image to be perfect because this panel is going to be hiding behind the die cut, like so. 
And all I have to do now is just to paste this down and I'm also going to paste the inside of the car so that I just can hide all the work I have done in the front panel. And then I trim any excess of cardstock and to finish I stamp and I hand cut a butterfly and I paste it with glossy accents. I also use glossy accents to paste the little banner as this is also a very strong adhesive. And then I apply some Nubo drops just to finish this card. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you another idea which is very similar than the previous one but in this opportunity I'm going to stamp and die cut the front panel straight away. I'm going to use the intricate dies in the package to create that beautiful pattern all over the wings. I'm going to use the same square dies I used in the previous card, exactly the same size and everything. And now I'm going to stamp the beautiful butterfly in the stamp set using this amazing ombre ink by Hero Arts. And I'm simply going to place the dies on the wings like so and I'm going to run this through the machine. And when you place a piece of cardstock in a contrasting color behind this die cut, you will see how beautiful these show up. Now I'm going to use a coordinated ink. So this ink is the same color than the cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the little butterfly and I'm going to do exactly the same I did in the previous card, just to paste a banner on that butterfly as well. Then making cards like these ones, I like to use a maximum of three ink colors or variations of those ink colors. And I also like to use a maximum of three cardstock colors. So for example, if I'm using a blue ink, I want to use a blue cardstock color and perhaps a white and a neutral color. And that's pretty much what I have been doing in this video and I do always to guarantee the balance of my projects in terms of color. To finish this card, I'm going to use an A6 card base. These card bases come in a package of 50 and they come with envelopes. I almost never use the envelopes because I like to make my own. And what I like about these card bases is that I can just trim it to the height I need, that in this case is four inches and a quarter or 11 centimeters. And this card is done. So now I can move forward and show you another idea. As I said before, I like to make my own envelopes. With these dies, you can also create windows for envelopes or boxes. Today I'm going to show you very quickly how to make this box, but I'm not going to show you how to make an envelope. I have a previous video in which I'm showing you the process to make an envelope and die cut it. So I'm going to add the link in the video description. Of course, I'm using different tools and the envelope is in a different size, but the process is the same. To make envelopes this size, you might need to use a big shot plus or a big die cutting machine. To make this box, I'm just going to use the Stampin' Up Big Shot. You can also use any small or average die cutting machine. Once you have your bag or your box die cut, all you have to do is to place the butterfly wings on top like so, and you just run this through the machine. You also need to die cut the body of the butterfly and paste it on the center of the wings. So that was another very simple idea I want to share with you today. And I have another idea, which is to make an envelope gift card. I have a four minute video to show you how to make this envelope gift card. You can just find the link in the video description or browse my channel and the video is just next to this one. And a couple of days ago, I shared a video to show you how I die cut synthetic leather with butterfly card dies as well. This was only one example of the wide variety of things you can create with butterfly card dies for sewing projects or another craft. Now, there are so many ideas with the stamp set, too many to put in a video, and I will be sharing that in my blog. So make sure you visit my blog for more ideas or inspiration, subscribe to my channel, or join my social networks. All the links are in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and happy crafting. Bye!